Tonight, a neighborhood divided. A Billings Heights subdivision has a permanent barrier now in place, blocking access from one side of the neighborhood to the other placed there in the name of safety. However, some neighbors say the installation of a metal gate dividing the subdivision is actually illegal. As I found out, they want it removed because they say blocking access is also a safety issue. In a quiet area of Yellowstone County. This neighborhood has been here for about 20 years. Sits the neighborhood Callie Lumen grew up in. Yeah, we're outside of city limits. Everybody has big yards. Now closer to her roots and watching her own daughters grow up here too. We moved back here in 2020 after my mother passed away. Um, to help out my dad. But now a barrier is changing all that. Lumen says one quiet Saturday morning residents of the first phase of the subdivision armed with tools placed a locked gate on the road that connects to the third phase. Within the same hour that they cemented the post in the ground, they had the, the gate hanging and the signs were up. Her family and others were left helpless. So we just had to watch it happen. They but now the neighbors are the armed with a fight because they say the move sure. is illegal. In our covenants, we have easements to use every road that's in that neighborhood and vice versa. So they are allowed to use our roads. I intend to fight it as as I can. Lumen says she used to drive to her dad's house, which sits directly behind hers. It used to take about 40 seconds, but now she has to go an extra mile and a half around the blockade, taking up to five minutes more. Yeah, I just think it's wrong. Um, this is what we should send our In addition to it being illegal, happy. neighbors say the gate is unsafe, confusing emergency responders, garbage trucks, even a recent DoorDash driver. And now we have one exit to leave the neighborhood. So if there's anything that happens around this exit, it's padlocked. There's nothing we can do over here. The metal gate is the latest development in a years long saga dividing the neighborhood. Something those who put up the gate say is complicated. I did reach out to the president of the HOA, Lisa Howe, who declined to speak with me on camera at the advice of her legal counsel. But she did provide me with a statement saying they're well within their right to install this gate. She says the majority of neighbors all agreed it was the right thing to do in the name of safety to slow down traffic on this road. The first phase neighbors say they exhausted all other options, sending letters, installing speed bumps, and even going door to door to express their concern about the speed. It seems small maybe to somebody who doesn't isn't infected by it. Now creating a structural divide between neighbors. Now I'm... I send my girls to even walk to my dad's house and it's like, I know you don't want us here, so this is uncomfortable. And a symbolic one, too. I mean, it makes me really sad. A lumen says they were told the first phase got permission from the county attorney's office to build the barrier gate. But upon checking with the county attorney's office, it says it doesn't involve itself on private road issues. How tells me they're operating on a prescriptive easement under Montana state law.